Hello, my name is Amri Karan Lapidot from Yugen Photo Video here in uh, Tel Aviv, and today we are privileged enough to have Mr. Ko Watanabe, uh, General Manager of the Imaging Products and uh, IPAC region of uh, Panasonic, to explain us about uh, those lovely cameras that sit around us. Uh, hello, good morning, Ko. Hello, good morning. So, Mr. Watanabe, we've seen Olympus coming up with a new uh, professional body uh, with a micro four thirds uh, sensor in which you have uh, plenty of experience. And we've seen uh, cameras the likes of uh, Fujifilm go straight to uh, medium format, uh, trying to avoid the first competition that uh, full frame, uh, full frame market has. And you and Panasonic decided to go all the way into uh, that uh, market. Can you explain the, the decision? Yes. So uh, in 2008, uh, we introduced the first uh, mirrorless camera in the market uh, with Micro Four Thirds uh, system. And the, after that, ma, we introduced the, ma, a lot of uh, Linux Z series cameras. Then uh, the people, the customers, uh, evaluated uh, mobility and also ma, good performance. This balance, uh, ma, they highly ma, evaluated. And then ma, we uh, have also ma, considered uh, some ma, customers, including ma, professional uh, people, uh, wants to expand their ma, creativity. Then ma, they uh, seek the ma, full frame, uh, ma, bigger sensor format. Uh, and the, ma, with our experience in Micro Four Thirds system, uh, ma, we are confident to go step forward uh, then uh, to my uh, full frame uh, system. And the uh, reason why we chose full frame, uh, ma, I think uh, there are two reasons. Uh, one is we consider the lens lineup is very important as a system. And the, ma, we have a ma, long relationship uh, with Leica. And the Leica also invented ma, 35 millimeter uh, mm -hmm. format. Uh, ma, then ma, we decided uh, to choose ma, full frame uh, with ma, L mount alignments, not only with Leica but also ma, Sigma. And the second reason is the balance between the size and also performance. And one of our big advantages is video, video performance. Uh, so that uh, ma, with ma, full frame uh, system, ma, it realized the best balance uh, between size and photo video performance. And I think we can see in uh, those cameras, which we'll talk about in a minute, uh, how uh, some of the knowledge that you have acquired uh, trying to perfect the Micro Four Thirds got into those uh, cameras um, build quality wise, image quality wise, with the high resolution mode that they both have. And of course, with the video features, uh, both record 4K 60p, am I correct? Yes. Uh, so we'll talk about it in a minute, but I think that's very impressive and it shows um, that the knowledge that you've accumulated uh, at the Micro Four Thirds is rising up and give us some pretty unique uh, features. We'll talk about it uh, later. Panasonic uses a contrast detect uh, system based on machine learning called uh, the DFD system and not the phase detect. What are the advantages of the uh, DFD system over other systems? Mm -hmm. So my DFD uh, system has a big advantage in terms of high speed autofocus. And a combination of my contrast F, uh, which can realize accurate autofocus, and the DFD, uh, we consider this is the best uh, option uh, to realize good uh, autofocus. And does the AF system uh, is perfected towards stills photography or towards video photography or both? Both. Both. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, can we expect the same level of AF performance uh, that we saw on the G9 uh, from those cameras, even though they work with bigger and higher resolution uh, sensors? Yeah. Uh, I think, uh, no, yes. Uh, so ma, we fine-tuned our autofocus system uh, suitable for the ma, full frame system. Uh, so ma, uh, we believe uh, we uh, realize the ma, similar uh, level of autofocus performance. 
uh, in every new system, one of the biggest uh, client concerns is about the lens uh, lineup. So uh, you started the system with three new lenses. One is the uh, classic 51.4, which we can all see how uh, big and it's probably a new uh, optical design. And uh, 24 to 105, which is uh, the standard zoom, uh, of course, uh, stabilized and synchronized with the uh, IBIS, with the on sensor yes. stabilization. And um, a 70 200 mm -hmm. um, F4. Mm -hmm. I think this is a classic move. Uh, those are um, some of the most used lenses. Mm -hmm. But what's your plans uh, for the future? So, as you said, we introduced three lenses at the beginning. And uh, we will uh, continue the development and uh, we will introduce uh, seven more lenses by the end of 2020. Mm -hmm. So uh, we will have 10 lenses as a total. And that's uh, Panasonic exclusively? Yes. We have uh, Sigma lenses and Leica lenses? Yes. Okay, so it looks, uh, looks very good as we see. And there's one thing that I want to show uh, about lenses because many of our customers are asking about it. Uh, one of the main uh, issues with the uh, focus by wire uh, lenses is that the motion is not linear and uh, the 7200 and the 50 has uh, a shift uh, mechanism that gives completely linear uh, focus uh, motion so it balances speed of uh, focus by wire system and the linear motion for uh, manual uh, focus uh, for focus pullers and whatnot very nice touch, very nice to see it in the uh, newest uh, Panasonic system. I want to talk about uh, the two cameras, uh, basic features, um, resolution, uh, video qualities. Um, so what can you tell us about those, those okay. twins? Okay, so the my biggest difference between these two models is a uh, uh, resolution. So S1R uh, has 47 megapixel sensor. Mm -hmm. And S1 has 24 megapixel, and so that the my S1R, uh, my you can uh, take the more detail uh, in the image. Then my S1, my less resolution, but my better uh, low light uh, capability. Mm -hmm. And uh, in addition, the video performance wise, my S1 has my a little bit my better. And so on top of my 4K 60p uh, video recording. Uh, we have a plan to, of a firmware upgrade uh, of, uh, for the 10-bit uh, recording and also my VLOG uh, support. So VLOG support is different from the one for our GH series, uh, which is VLOG L support. So the VLOG uh, for S1 is basically the same as the one for our professional uh, a professional camcorder, a body cam, mm -hmm. so that uh, uh, you can expect more uh, wider uh, dynamic range. So that, uh, uh, for the professional videographers, uh, we think my S1 would be a uh, better option. And the another thing is uh, uh, HLG video, so uh, uh, to, to shoot HDL video, uh, only my S1. Mm -hmm. So to conclude, the S1R is the stills oriented uh, mostly in respect to uh, landscape photography, uh, portrait photography, mm -hmm. whatever requires uh, high uh, resolution. Mm -hmm. And the S1 is geared for um, maybe a quicker, darker action uh, mm -hmm. in, in harshest uh, light conditions and more towards hybrid shooters. Yes. Though the S1R is uh, no slouch of uh, at the video uh, front as well. Okay. Um, and both have the same uh, sensor stabilization, mm -hmm. both work the same with the stabilized lenses, mm -hmm. uh, and both have the high res mode, if, I'm, yes. if I remember correctly. Yes. Okay, very interesting. Uh, they both have the same AF system? Yes. Okay. So the S1 and S1R occupy unique market segments, mm -hmm. one that we haven't uh, seen so far, price wise and uh, performance wise. Mm -hmm. um, who do you see use them? How do you see them uh, fit in? And um, what's the strong points uh, that makes them on a higher level than their peers? Okay. Uh, so, well, there are a lot of uh, advantage and the also my features uh, we would like to appeal. So my one of them uh, is uh, this my viewfinder. But if you can try, uh, you will see the pretty much more detail through my viewfinder. 
Mm -hmm. So this one has a 5.8 mega dot, a uh, 5.8 million dot mm -hmm. uh, viewfinder, uh, which uh, should be the uh, best uh, quality and performance in the market. Mm -hmm. It is as of now, for as sure. Of now, yes. Um, okay, and about uh, build quality. Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, this is, um, uh, of course, my weatherproof design, uh, splash and dust proof. And uh, also, our S series has uh, a low temperature uh, resistance mm -hmm. uh, down to minus 10 degrees. Yes. So that uh, even in the uh, uh, cold, mm -hmm. uh, super cold situation, uh, you can still uh, don't worry about uh, uh, the, the, the temperatures. Yes. Can you tell us about the decision of placing them on that spot? Did it come from uh, wanting to be unique or did you just want to not cut any corner and mm -hmm. just put them wherever you, wherever mm -hmm. you can? Okay. Uh, so uh, actually our uh, product concept uh, for S series is my full frame without compromise. Mm -hmm. So we don't compromise in every aspect. So my, for example, the handling. So it, my handling is very important uh, for professional people who uh, shoot uh, for a long uh, time. Uh, so that uh, one of them is the balance, weight balance between body and lens. But if you uh, hold uh, the camera, how, how do you think? It is extremely uh, comfortable. It reminds me of the G9 grip, which is, mm -hmm. I think, one of the best in the industry. Mm -hmm. And now with the heavier lenses, mm -hmm. I think it, you can actually hold a camera one hand. There's a place for the for the small finger, yes. and I think this um, this gives such an edge. Mm -hmm. of, uh, putting the weight on the hand looks extremely well, and uh, something that needs to be shown: uh, every lens has the little gasket. Uh, on the lens mount uh, for the weather sitting. Just a minute. It's a new mount. Okay. Yes. Okay. And the mount well, on top of that, the uh, this dual card slot. Mm -hmm. So with this, uh, you can back up the uh, data uh, on another card, so that the uh, you don't need to worry about the data crash. Uh, so this also uh, gives more confidence uh, on this uh, camera. Yeah, and also the, uh, this monitor. Mm -hmm. So uh, this tiltable monitor uh, is good for the uh, low, light, uh, low angle shooting or high angle shooting, mm -hmm. even for the portrait shooting. Mm -hmm. Or tripod shooting for panoramas. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So this uh, three axis uh, tiltable monitor is also uh, uh, but we consider this is necessary for the more professional people. Mm -hmm. And also uh, some other things that I want to emphasize. The camera has a full HDMI connection. Uh, it also has a USB-C port, which enable um, charging the battery as well as operating the camera simultaneously. Uh, also, of course, a headphone jack and a mic jack and a remote jack. And it uses uh, an XQD card and uh, an SD UHS-2 both are fine with recording uh, 4K 60p and the XQD is even faster for recording uh, the stills coming up at uh, high rates. I think this one shoots 9 frames per second yes. of 47 megapixels. So you would probably need the fastest cards available in order to maintain, um, <clears throat> in order to maintain performance. Um, one more thing that I think is important is uh, the camera comes with an new battery it's a very large battery it uh the sipa standard says 380 shots using the rear screen and above 1000 shots uh using the lcd uh which is a lot in uh mirrorless camera terms it of course depends on uh, how you use the camera if you shut it off if you uh, hold it uh, on for long periods but it seems industry leading we'll have to check the camera in the field and uh, see for ourselves so our uh, customers ask us about uh, how will the new uh, system will coexist with uh, Micro Four Third systems. We see the new lens, the 10 to 25 uh, 1.7, and we say, okay, you're probably going with uh, both systems, but can you explain how they're going to live together under the same roof? Mm, okay. Uh, well, we think well, each system has its own uh, advantage. 
so my full frame has better my low light uh, my image quality and also my uh, wider my dynamic range. Uh, however, the my uh, microprocessor has my good for mobility and high speed performance. So my still my street photographers or travel photographers. A wildlife photographers who carry around the cameras a lot, uh, they, well, for them, well, microphone would be a well, better well, option. Mm -hmm. So well, we uh, think well, both systems can coexist. Uh, that's why well, we will uh, continue the development of well, new cameras or lenses. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, we talked about the camera a lot. What do you think is the strongest point of the uh, S1 and the S1R, your new uh, S system? Mm, okay. So my, our S series has a my, lot of my features and functions, performance, uh, which meet the professional uh, users uh, request or needs. And the, my, those my functions uh, include the something what you can get only with the but well, much more like, expensive or much bigger uh, cameras. Mm -hmm. So well, that kind of well, uh, balance uh, between the size, maybe price, and also the well, performance, uh, this is the well, uh, no, biggest uh, advantage. So just to put things in numbers, uh, the S1R can give you 187 uh, megapixels, 187 megapixels when set on a tripod at a static uh, scene. And the S1 uh, will give you um, vlog uh, from the uh, Varicam and 42 10 bit internal recording with the firmware update. Two things that you can find only in cameras so much more expensive and, of course, so much uh, bigger. And I think uh, this, this is very interesting to see. We'll, we'll see how good is the uh, high res system, how good will be uh, the full frame video coming from those cameras. And think as a as a photographer, those camera really uh, offer things that either were not on the market or were only uh, found in higher segments of it. So really nice to have them, and uh, good luck to you. And thank you so much, Mr. Matanabe, uh, for so coming much. here and talking to us and explaining all of those things. And uh, for all of our customers here in uh, Israel, uh, the two cameras will be uh, on display as of uh, Sunday. You're more than welcome to come test them. They are pre-production models, but uh, they do most of the stuff and you can see how good they feel in the hand, how good is the uh, 5.6 million dot IPS the best on the market today, and how good are the lenses, how good they feel. Uh, more than welcome to come and see them. Uh, from Yugen Photo Video, uh, thank you so much, Mr. Kovatanabe, and uh, I'm Awekan Lapidot. Have a nice weekend and goodbye.